everybody, it's Yvonne here. Welcome to my channel. And uh, we're going to have some fun today. I'm going to show you uh, these techniques that I'm showing you have uh, been out, been tried, modified, did different things. And mine are no different. But uh, just to refresh in your mind on doing something with some, maybe something different with something that you have. Today we're going to emboss a... Um, A stamp embossing folder and here we have one from Stampin' Up! It's an old one called Flower Gardens and I'm going to use a piece of um, metallic silver paper and I've used my little embossing here just to if you have an embossing buddy I have one don't know where it is right now but anyway you can emboss your card quite well and then you'll take your Versa mark does to do something quite different. You'll realize that on the folder here, well, the folder that I have is, um, I don't know if you can you can really tell, but there's flowers here, flowers here. But one side is embossed and the other side is not embossed. It's embossed into the, the plastic. And when you put it together, it obviously makes this pattern here. But I'm going to take my Versa mark and I, you're going to have to decide if you want it to stand up or the, the image to be into the silver and the rest being a different color. So what I'm going to do is at this point I'm going to do the, I'm just going to wet all this, this folder really really good with my Versamark watermark. Now you can do this with any Versamark. Uh, uh, Versamark is this brand but any watermark stamp will do. Now I think I have it quite well. Now I'm going to put my embossing metallic paper right inside. Whoops I think I might have smudged it just a bit. Not too sure. Let me put this through my big shot. All right. Okay. I'm back and I have embossed my image. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a piece of paper for a back of sheet. And I'm going to lay this on top here. And I am going to use some embossing or you could use some glitter you can use whatever you want but I'm going to use some embossing powder right now and I'm going to do all of this and a nice this is from Stampin Up also it's called shimmering white embossing powder let's see what this does on top I've never I've never quite used it let us see how it does so I'm I'm not sparing my glitter I'm this is why I have it on a piece of paper so I can pick it all up and I'm sure you've heard people say that before. I'm just going to add it on. See there are place there are room here that I've missed it, but that's okay because I'm going to cut this down to be put on make sure that I moved it there today. And I just want to make sure that I have all the most important done. Now, as you can probably tell, I've missed a few parts right there, but I'm going to be putting a sentiment on there. So that should help that. And I'm going to take right now my heat embossing gun, and I am going to heat emboss this image. And you can do this also on vellum. And I'll be right back once I do this. Okay, so now that I've I've embossed it with the glitter, you can tell where all the, the silver metallic is. It, that's going to make a beautiful wedding card. But I don't know if you can tell that clearly. 
Let's see if I can put it up a little closer. It's adorable. All I need to do now is to cut it down. So I'm going to take my cutter out and uh, my cutting board here. And I'm going to cut this because right now I, I believe it's at five and a half. So I'm going to cut this at five. I'm going to cut this at, at five. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out five and a quarter on the bottom. And then I'll go at five inches on the other side because I want it to be symmetrical here. Like that. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Here it's at four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut one side at four. Or maybe I'm not. I think I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to cut this at three and three quarters because I want to put a matting underneath this. So I'm going to throw these out. And I'm going to get myself a matting for this. This would be beautiful for a diamond anniversary. Oof, would it ever be nice? I have some uh, linen closet from DCWV. And I'm just going to try to grab a color here. And they're, they're shimmery paper. Look that gray. This gray may be pretty too. Let me see what else I can find. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. This one will go too. And then you have the linen. Which is also very pretty. I don't know. I think it's giving me too many choices. I have the glitter on this. I don't think I'm going to use it on that one. I'm going to use this one. This is because this is really pretty. And I'm going to cut this down. And, and this is a uh, linen closet. And it's sort of a soft sage green. And I'm going to cut this down at five and a quarter. Five and a quarter by four, like this, and then I'm going to lay this on top, oh yeah, like this, and you can do it different ways, uh, you could use your just your typical glue, or in my case, I want to kind of have it pop up a little bit. So I'm going to use some dimensional tape. I have the 3M here, uh, which is a quarter of an inch long. But you can use whatever you have at home. It's going to do the same thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you're looking to buy some, I have this one here is a little bit pricier than the following one I'm going to show you. And uh, I bought it on Amazon, and it's very economical. And it works as good as this, um, if not better. So you have no issues there when it comes to adding on your your dimensional tape. I just added one here because it tend, the paper tend to warp a little bit, and I don't want it to warp once it's on. I might even add another one just here to be safe. But this could be for a birthday and anniversary, a, a wedding. Like I said, you could choose a different colored background, and the flowers are phenomenal. They just stand right out. And there you have the front of the card, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. Now, I'd like to put some uh, ribbon on there, but before I go on any further, this is the... This is the uh, roll that I bought on Amazon. It's called Fa X Facet. A letter X. F-A-S-T-E-N. Facet. And it was a lot bigger roll than this. And it was like a fraction of the price of what I paid for the other stuff. But now I'd like to add a little bit of flavor to this. Would I want to do this or do I want to bring out the green color? If I want to do this as a wedding card, I think I'm just going to use this one here. And all I'm going to do here is 
cut out a piece of ribbon. This one here is a wire ribbon. It's just something that I purchased. I don't know if it was at the dollar store or I'm not quite sure. It was $2.99 anyway for a roll. And all I'm going to do here is take my tape gun and I'm just going to add a piece of tape to the back of it. And I'm just going to add it down like this and roll it in the back. Cut the excess off. You didn't have to cut it out as long as I did there, but like so. I'd like to have it a little straighter than that though, but let's see. Like that. Then you can take the little ends here and just make a, a knot out of it. For those of you especially who have a hard time making a bow, if you make yourself a little knot out of this paper, out of this ribbon, I'm sorry, like that, and this is only like leftovers, so you take your scissors, a good pair of scissors, and I have these that I only cut fabric with, and I'm just going to cut the ends like so, and again, oh, I cut it the wrong way, I don't know if you can draw here. Okay, like that. And then all I'm going to do here is grab a little glue dot. You can grab whatever you want. Uh, you can use it, even the adhesive if you want, the regular adhesive. But I'm just going to grab a glue dot. And I'm going to adhere it just to the corner here like that. And it makes it to be really, really sweet. You can open up the, the, the tabs like that. And it's turning out really, really adorable, adorable. And now let me see. I want to have a sentiment on that. But before I go to that, I'm going to grab myself a card base to show y'all what I mean by this, how pretty this would look. If I lay this on top like this, I'm just going to grab my tape gun. that. Oh, I love this. I think this is such a cool technique. I think it's, you know, it, it just brings it up to another notch, right? Because we, we do a lot of the same, and sometimes you like to have a change. Now, that is an adorable card. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see. I'm trying to get it as close to the camera as I can. But it is beautiful. And then I'm, I'm going to put a sentiment on top and a sentiment on the bottom, and I'll be right back to pick that up. I'm going to, okay, I'm back, and I'm going to take at this stamp set, which is the Honey Bee stamp set from Stampin' Up, and I'm going to great, cel celebrate every moment, and um, I believe this is the one right here. I'm going to take my block. Oh, brand new stamp. I never even used it yet. Or maybe... There, I'm going to do it. I could have used a smaller, a smaller one, but that's all I have for here, right here. And you know what I'm, I'm going to do? I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp it on a piece of that green card stock. And the green card stock, I'm just going to add it on like that. Celebrate every moment. And I'm going to cut it down. about an inch and I'll turn it down from there like that and then I'm just going to cut it down oh let me see if I can do it on about a quarter of an inch nope, the wrong side we go three three quarter of an inch that'll work and then all I'm going to do so I'm going to take and I'm going to cut it out at a point, just like the ribbon, like that. And I'm going to add it on here. And I'm going to use some 
glue dots for this just because I find it on on the um, particular background here it'll stick better and if I use my adhesive gun I just find that the glue dots glue very stay very well on there like that and I, I think it needs a little bit of blue what do you think I think with that kind of decor, I could use some pearls. Let's see what I can muster up here. You know, beautiful pearls. They're white. And I think they're very, very useful. Let's see if I can find my... That's not what I want. There we go. Like this. I'm just going to... Grab this first row. I'm going to add it here. Can you see it developing in front of your eyes? Because it is absolutely gorgeous. And it is so pretty and dainty. It would make a beautiful card. So, like I said, you know, you don't have to go spend $10 for a card at the card shop. Just do it up. You've got pearls. Most of these things, pearls and so forth, you can get them at the dollar store. Or you can get them from Stampin' Up! if you wish. You know, Stampin' Up! always has some. I have my online store there, if anybody's interested. But you may even have a, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in your area, which would be more than happy to serve you, I'm sure. But look, if you don't think that makes a beautiful card. And it all started with a folder. A folder that, you know, that, that, that was made for other things. But you can... Take this card, bring it a step further, and do it reverse. Do the flower and embossing powder and the recipe just left as is, or vice versa, what I just did here. And you'll see that by doing it this way, it's just that extra, extra step to have done it even better. This is Yvonne. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial and how to use your embossing folders for other than just embossing a piece of plain paper and I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you find it useful in your crafting world and I hope to see you real soon stick around I'm going to be putting out a video I appreciate you taking the time today to stay with us as we walk through this see you later but most of all be happy